There are lots of ways to make your plain video look cinematic in CapCut. I can show you how I do it so you can copy my style if you like it. But I have to admit I'm not a professional filmmaker so let me show you what I've done. I think it's not too bad, right? Let's not waste time and dive in. As you see, I've already imported my clips from last year's trip to Menorca in Spain. But the first step I usually do is to find some cinematic music. You might ask why music first? Well, because music and sound effects are more than half of what makes video cinematic. Music tells the viewer whether the video is sad or happy and evoke emotions. That is why I search for music first and then edit the clips around it. My favorite place to find the music is audio. Audio is a website where you can get music and sound effects for your videos without worrying about copyright issues. Royalty free means that you can use it on all your social media without getting in trouble. So for this particular video I would go to music and go under genre and look either in ambient or cinematic. But what I most like in audio is for example if I find a video on YouTube where I like a background music, I just have to copy the URL, go to audio, click on link match, paste the URL and wait for magic to happen. AI will find similar song from the video. Then you just have to find the one you like, or if you like one but you are not really sure, you can click on this icon and link match will find similar song to this one. I already find the one I like and I've imported into a CapCut and drag it to the timeline. If you would maybe like to try audio for free, I will leave you a link in the description. The second step is to add the clips to the beat of the music and CapCut makes that really easy. When your music is selected, click on this icon and choose Beats 2 because in this case you will get more beats. What that does is to show you where exactly beats are and that way we can cut the clips to the beats. Of course, we will not cut the clips to every beat. You just have to listen and cut there where it feels natural and flows nicely. The third step is to add some sound effects to your clips and I guarantee you that they will give you that something extra. What I will need is an ocean wave sound and a wind sound. I will place them under my clips where I need them and then trim them. The last and fourth step is color grading which is really important but we can also go way wrong with this one. For example, if we would color grade this clip and set the temperature down and hue and saturation, brightness down, contrast up and vignette up, we could use this for some set or horror movie. But for our case we need a happy, peaceful and warm video. So let's do that. What we can do is to mark all the clips so when we color grade it affects all clips. But sometimes it is really better to do one by one if we have clips with very different daylights and colors. First, let us add a filter. Go to scenery and find amber filter. Drag it down to the timeline and I will apply it to all my clips. Then highlight all clips and go to adjustments. Now here you have to play a little bit with the settings, depends on your clips. I will set the temperature to 10, hue to 5 saturation to 10, brightness 5, contrast 10, shadow minus 5 and vignette to 8. Let us check all clips. Ok, I see that I have to adjust the last 3 clips separately because the colors are too strong. And before the last 2 clips I will add transition. Go up to transition, add black fade and set it to 0.8 seconds. What you can also do is go up to HSL and set the colors individually to pop up even more. But I usually don't do that. We are almost finished but there is still one more thing I would like to do. And that is add the cinematic black bars to our clip. Now how I do it is highlight all clips, right click and create a compound clip. 
go up to video, mask, choose mirror and drag the bar somewhere like this. Ok, we are done. Let's look at our creation. Cool! If you want to learn more about editing in CapCut, watch some other videos on my channel and make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Take care!